Welcome to the Radical Moderate. Today what we're going to do is we're going to explore an intriguing concept called Jevons Paradox. But first, who was William Stanley Jevons? Well, he was a 19th century economist who made some significant contributions to economic theory. Jevons also observed that technological improvements that increase the efficiency of resource use can lead to an increase in consumption of that resource, a phenomenon that is now known as the Jevons Paradox. Jevons' paradox tells us that when the cost of uh, something drops, its consumption can actually increase. Um, this is rooted on a basic economic principle of supply and demand. As prices decrease, more people can afford the product, leading to higher demand. And this interplay between the price in a supply and demand curve is really a fundamental concept in economics. And Jevons noticed that by the coal consumption during the Industrial Revolution that increased even though steam engines were becoming more and more efficient. So his analysis showed that because the engines were more efficient, the costs of the engines were dropping, therefore more engines were being used, so the total consumption of coal went up despite the fact that the engines became more efficient. And that's essentially the supply and demand curve at its best. Recently, we now saw this with the release of the DeepSeek, which is a new open source AI model from China. Although this has led to a drop in the stock price for some of the tech companies associated with the AI, it doesn't necessarily mean a collapse for the existing AI model's price structure. Take Google, for example. The Android system, uh, which is an open platform system, uh, is well known and is widely used, but it really hasn't made uh, the use of iPhones, for example, which is a closed system, obsolete. In fact, Apple thrives showing that the premium models can succeed alongside an open source alternative. Similarly, while DeepSea can attract a broad user base, many might spill over to more premium platforms like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, and Meta, and the rest of them, which offer probably more advanced features and better services. But it's not all smooth sailing. As we saw with the TikTok, for example, there might be also some data security concerns, and uh, especially when it comes to tech from different regulatory environments in this country. As usual, moderation is key. Embracing both open source and premium models can fuel innovation while managing risks. There's clearly room for both platforms to coexist, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of healthy competition between a closed and then an open source platform. It's going to democratize, if anything, the use of AI, which is going to be a good thing. So let the best AI win through customer feedback or whoever ends up becoming our main overlord. So even in this AI domain, moderation becomes understanding and then balancing the benefits and the drawbacks of new with those of the established. The open with the secure. And then also faster and likely better service platforms with the free. Although, keep in mind that the OpenAI started also its platform as open as well before they kind of decided to close it. So DeepSeek is new and we'll just have to wait and see where they end up. At the end, it's about leveraging diversity through competition to foster growth. Where this dynamic will settle and also what's the kind of final equilibrium in this sector, it remains an open question. We'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, thank you all for uh, tuning in to The Radical Moderate. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.